How do you get free foam like this? Nice one eighth sheet. You could make an aeroplane wing out of it or something like that. Now, there's only one way you can get this sort of stuff for free is to make it. So let's start. But before we start, we just go through what we need. You can see what we need. That's it. These things are self explanatory, it's just some sort of abrasion with varying grades and plus a hacksaw blade. That's all you need. Let's start. Okay, choose the thickness you want, so a little bit thicker and just go down to the hacksaw blade to as deep as you can without straying, without the blade straying, you know what I mean? You've got to have the blade like this, not like that or like that, straight. I'm going to practice and do that all the way around. And this side too. Do the same on that side, both sides. And the same on the top to start it off. There we go, we got it. We're starting. Now all you do is just go down and go down on an angle and then change over the sides and go on an angle this way and just keep doing that and then saw it straight for a little while and then go down on an angle again and use the side bits as a guide. Whoa. Go down a bit. Other side. It's a little hard to hold, a bit tricky to hold. Here we go. We're doing it like that, you see. Hope you can see it. Going side to side and just keep going straight down for a little while. And nice and steady. Be careful. The more care you can take doing this, the less you have to worry about it later when you're filing. There we go, it's nearly finished, like slicing it like sliced bread and there we got they got a fairly dark setting so you can see that you see it's not quite even it's pretty good that size always use a good side it saves a lot of work but you can do it on a rough side now start off with the rough one and just gonna it's a bit dirty to spoil but it won't matter it's gone rusty for some reason and just get it nice and flat, find a nice surface to do it on, because it's such a rough file it's really really quick, oops sorry, I bumped YouTube, didn't make it, so the video um, anti-shake on YouTube, here we go, it's nearly done, count to 20 or something, and just filing down all the high spots. You can't see it on YouTube, of course, because it's foam. You can't see anything with foam. You can't see any detail. But you file down all the high spots, and that's it, and it's done. And you go down your grades. I got this for another grade. You can use what you like, as long as it's some sort of abrasion, sandpaper or emery paper. And this is not too bad, this one, it smooths it off. It's still really rough, but it comes up with a lot better finish than the other one, of course. Oops, sorry, bumped you again. Here we go. Nearly finished. Just 
got to check, see if it's nice and flat before you go off this. Pretty good. Finally, a finer grade again. So, well, it's just a good one. This, this is actually a, I bought this for my foot. It's just sandpaper on the board. But I bought it for my foot because my have calluses on my feet and I like to sand them down. See? But it's worked out to be really good for foam. It's not just a bit of sandpaper on a board. See, look, it's rounded off around the edges and everything. It's the right shape. It's great, you know. It's the best tool I've ever bought, you know. If you do it with plywood, just round the edges off. I think it's finished. It's pretty close. Now we have. Oh, I bumped you again. It's really labour intensive, but the thing is, it's free. You got free a free sheet of foam, one eighth inch thick, and make a plain wing out of it, like so. There's a plain wing. I made that a polyhedral. Look in the description below for a link on how to make this wing. I made the wing in less than 15 minutes because the video only goes that long and it's a uh, real-time video on making this aeroplane wing. There we got some hot products that we that you can make yourself. Good thing. For free.